Hi, you're looking at my weather pi. It's basically a weather system that I've built uh, out of a Raspberry Pi. Um, I was asked the other day uh, by a viewer to uh, list some of my other videos and just wanted to show here I am underneath my house. And what I've done is I've mounted this uh, just on a piece of uh, PVC board, um, like some of my other projects, uh, underneath the house. and. Uh, here you can see I've got my Raspberry Pi hooked up, and this is just a really simple breadboard. Um, on that, you can see this is the uh, barometric pressure sensor. Uh, this over here is my uh, temperature and humidity uh, sensor. Uh, i trying to remember the, uh, the names, but I, it doesn't matter. I'll list them all uh, below. And uh, this cable here... Sorry, this one uh, just here uh, is a uh, temperature probe uh, which runs uh, over here up and into the house, as you can see. Uh, that just kind of pokes up to the uh, corner of the house. So as far as hardware goes, that's pretty much it. Like I say, because it's mounted underneath the house here in a dry area, I haven't really, um, haven't really had to worry too much about uh, casing it or waterproofing it or shelling it or anything. Um, it's just a really simple uh, board setup. Anyways, that's the uh, hardware side. I'll uh, take you inside in a minute and show you the software. Alright, so we're inside now just having a quick look at the uh, results of the board. Basically, the information that that board is collecting uh, I've turned into a website uh, that I can access um, externally. Uh, although here you can see I'm only uh, doing it internally so as not to give away my web address. Um, you can see here these are the different fields that I'm actually collecting uh, at any given time. Uh, the time that the last reading was taken, uh, the indoor temperature, the outdoor temperature, the relative humidity, and the pressure. I then take that data uh, and I do a couple of uh, little things in PHP. Uh, the first is this um, uh, thermometer here on the left. Uh, that thermometer uh, goes up and down depending on what the uh, outdoor temperature says it is. And you can see uh, the current color of it. Uh, that changes as the weather, uh, or rather as the temperature increases or decreases. I do a couple other things with the data as well. Uh, I take the pressure and um, uh, set a couple of ranges so that I can guess what the uh, current outside weather looks like uh, based on the uh, barometric pressure. So at a 1,004.59 uh, uh, hectapascals, oh, wait a sec, uh, it's some sort of pascal reading, uh, I'll figure that out for sure. Um, what I do is I take uh, that and I can guess that we have a few clouds. So I write that out as data and I also show a graphic that, uh, that indicates that. Uh, further down here you'll see that I've taken uh, an open source graphing program, uh, which I believe is called Flot. Uh, I'll send a, I'll put up a link to that as well in the uh, section below. Uh, with Flot, you can uh, plot, and what this is doing is looking over the last week um, at the uh, different readings, uh, basically uh, indoor and outdoor temperatures. Uh, you can see the humidity is really crazy uh, this time of year here in uh, Titterangi in Auckland. Uh, but also, uh, you can see that the pressure has gone up quite substantially recently, and we're just starting to head back down. So that's how I'm interpreting the data, but I've also got a section here on the site where I've just left the raw data up, so I can have a look. Oh, you know, last night it was really cold, so I just thought I'd have a look. Well, at 2 in the morning, actually it was 13 degrees inside the house and 13.5 degrees outside the house. So it's about the same temperature inside as it was outside. Um, it felt pretty cold. Also, the humidity you can see was pretty high. One last little trick I've done. I've uh, taken the... Um, current conditions and I've turned it into a sentence. So you can see I've currently described it as cool with underwater conditions and it's a little bit cloudy. Uh, it's pretty much always underwater conditions in the middle of winter uh, with relative humidity currently sitting uh, in the upper 90s, 98 percent humidity. Anyways, that's the usable side of all the data gathering that we're doing. Uh, let me show you some of the uh, software side. Just a quick description in terms of the software of uh, what I'm doing in a uh, theoretical sense. Uh, first, we'll start with my Raspberry Pi, uh, and that's attached to uh, the weather board. Uh, 
inside it, I have a, a Python script, um, which is uh, taking that data uh, from here and uh, putting it into uh, a MySQL database. Uh, uh, eventually, I'll change that over to uh, MariaDB, but uh, for now, um, it's MySQL. That MySQL database then uh, feeds the uh, PHP script, uh, which I'm running, uh, which shows off that uh, that website that I showed you. So on the Raspberry Pi, then um, I'm running uh, Python, um, I'm running uh, MySQL, uh, I'm also running an Apache server uh, and uh, PHP, uh, which my camera just just barely missed. But uh, all of that chain. Uh, as we go uh, across like that, uh, is able to uh, grab the data from here and then uh, present it to the world uh, in a readable form uh, with the PHP. So uh, just before I go any further, I just uh, just want to say that the reality of this project and why uh, I considered it uh, a little bit uh, easy or simple, uh, and the reason I hadn't posted it until now, is that most of the stuff that's happening on the weather board, uh, and most of the Python stuff uh, is actually uh, taken from the Adafruit website. It's a great website, a great place to learn about um, Raspberry Pis and Python, and a lot of the devices that you can connect um, to the Raspberry Pi. The, um, the stuff for the weather board, uh, I bought on eBay. Uh, because I live in New Zealand and it's just as easy to ship from there as it is from the Adafruit website. But uh, I pretty much followed the tutorials on uh, how to get those devices working uh, in Python from the uh, Adafruit website. Um, Adafruit had the, uh, the data be put onto a Google page. Uh, I didn't want that, uh, so I figured out how to use MySQL, but unfortunately I don't really have a tutorial for that. I can't really remember the steps. And the last thing I want to do, having been through it, is try to retrace it. Uh, in terms of uh, taking the MySQL data and putting it onto PHP, uh, that again is uh, uh, the sort of thing that I think you can uh, pretty much find on the internet uh, with a quick Google search. Uh, so I won't be going into too much of that de into too much of that detail. If you have any questions about how I set the uh, Raspberry Pi board up or any of the uh, parts and pieces that I used, uh, please ask below, but remember to check the About section, as I hope to be able to describe uh, just about each piece, uh, how I got it, what it does, and uh, how it's relevant for this project. Thanks very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please uh, like, comment, I don't know, post, heck, do anything you want. Share it with your friends if you feel it. Thanks very much.